Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Rogos TV. <laughs> I know I've been a pretty bad YouTuber lately. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into it, but a uh, <clears throat> bit of a channel update slash comic book mystery box opening. I'm hoping uh, I'm gonna be restructuring my YouTube channel, um, but that's not really the important part. The important part is uh, I'm just going through a lot of family stuff right now, so. If you guys can please forgive me while I situate everything and I uh, get in the right state of mind because I don't want to do these videos, I don't want to live stream uh, without being 100% feeling good because I honestly I don't feel good and I don't feel like live streaming and pretending to be happy and all that stuff. Uh, so. I'm just going through this family issue, guys, so if you could stick with me, that's awesome. If you guys can't, you know, I mean, maybe I'll see you when I get back to doing all my stuff. But, I got some more comic books, some more mystery boxes. I'm going to be opening them. So I'm going to open one, and this one's actually the Comic Garage. I've received this one before. They are an actual, go to their website here, comicgarage.com, get it, it's a, po it's a curated uh, mystery box for the most part. Um, I've gotten them before, uh, this will might be the last time I get them because I don't really like their packaging, it's really terrible. But uh, yeah, they come in this, none of them are bagged or boarded or anything, uh, so even if you were to get something good uh it's not protected uh like uh it's crazy to me that some of the um, ebay mystery mystery boxes are 10 times better than uh one that like that's what they uh they see or that's what they do so oh my the uh okay they got it all over the place here let me let me move some stuff some of these are pretty cute ooh 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 <laughs> yeah so i'm actually going to be going out so hopefully i can find a comic book shop uh we're going to be we're actually going around a little mini vacay um to get rid of some stuff so hopefully i can find a comic book shop and buy some more comic books um probably just be looking in there overstock stuff um, i'm also changing my wall up a bit uh let me know what you want to see i mean i'm gonna be putting some posters up maybe uh right now it's just boring oh my god are these three giant pokemon cards uh but yeah okay so first one Wolverine and the X-Men, Battle of the Atom. Let's see, what issue, issue, oh, chapter five, I'm sorry. Issue 36, though. So. Yep. Oh, oops, sorry. I got a new camera. Still working out the kinks. Pretty cool. X-Men is always a great, I need to also get something that more supports these comic books, man. Uh, 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 hold on. Eh, it'll bend a little bit. The Invincible Iron Man. I actually, is this the one? Let me see. Oh, wait, no, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Invincible Iron Man. Uh, in, uh sorry, The Invincible Iron Man. Very cool cover. Iron Man is always a favorite. Um, mostly because... Um, and this, uh, anyways, Iron Man. Always awesome. Invincible Iron Man is a great series. I think... I mean, as much as I say I hate uh, some of the new series, I do actually really like them. Um, um, 2000s era is what I mean. Um, War Machine, Parental Advisory, Explicit Content, ooh, number three, by the way, C 
kind of a okay cover, pretty uh, boring. Um, the back, you know, that, that's what they should have went with. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Yeah, it's just all gonna fall. What if I, what if I do this? Be, might be awesome. There we go, that looks way better. Uh, oh, well, this is kind of crazy. I actually own this comic book. Uh, I thought it'd be a while before I would get something I own. Batman Eternal, though. This, uh, if you haven't read Batman Eternal, or at least this one, I think they might have another one. Um, Batman Eternal is a great read if you guys uh, are into Batman. And this is a very cool cover. And I think this issue I might own uh the variant for this so this is cool i mean this is a just the standard issue but that is okay by me um cat women the new 52 i'm gonna tell you right now i did not invest at all in the new 52 but this is cat woman the black diamond the new 52 um i don't know why i just was not interested in uh, the new 52. Don't know why. Uh, just was never my thing. Ooh. The Spectre. Issue 22. What is this one? Oh, this was back when comic books were starting on their rise. The Spectre. Looks like it's Superman. Never actually read these comic books, but I have heard of them. Very, the, I like this cover. Anything where they can figure out a way to, what is the word, make Superman a little bit more uh, interesting because I find Superman's just kind of boring. Uh, I think this is the first for my channel. It is a Star Wars issue 66 non variant. Um, and it looks newer, newer-ish. So, I, uh, I have a few Star Wars comic books, but I, I don't know. Never actually, like, got into collecting it, and I love Star Wars, and this is a very cool cover. And a lot of the Star Wars comic books actually have really, really cool covers. And I got another one, Star Wars Princess Leia. Ooh, la la. Don't know what that Leia is based off of, but uh, she's very cute. If I do say so, this is issue four. Um, this is a non variant. Yeah. It's a direct, well, it's a direct edition. I don't know what that means. But issue four, very cool cover. Uh, huge Stormtrooper fan. Huge Leia fan. Huge. I don't know. Who the other chick is. But yeah. Star Wars books are always welcomed. Yeah. I, I mean. I think that's kind of why I like. This is because it's more curated towards. Me. Uh, I'm just going to. Unpopular opinion about this next book. I am not. The biggest Deadpool. Full Deadpool fan. I think some of his books are pretty interesting, but I just don't go out of my way um, to read them. Uh, this is Deadpool Max 2. Uh, but they can be quite fun to read. Um, this is Explicit Content 3. Um, but uh, this is probably not one of my favorite covers just not gonna lie all right so we got shadowland power man oh, okay this is actually an issue one so this looks like it's uh the defenders shadowland pat well i mean it looks like it's obviously power man 
but uh, that looks like the Daredevil, and then you got uh, Iron Fist. I don't know why I forgot his name. And this is obviously issue one of four, which means it's a thing. Um, and I didn't know uh, Living Goes to Hell was a book, but that sounds awesome. Once again, another X-Men book. I'm pretty happy. Um, and it is, uh, I forget her name, but, uh, e uh, Wolverine's daughter, or whatever, clone. I don't, is she still considered a clone? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, very interesting cover. Not the coolest, but she is about to murder someone. Uh, yeah. X-Men, but that is, that is, um, all of it, but, uh, how it's packaged is it comes in this, and then they shrink wrap it, and then they throw it in a, not, they don't throw it in a box, they ship it out in a comic book, comic safety box, it's all nice and neat, but. I feel like if you're running a um, a service that you should at least back and board what you feel is the most um, the most expensive one out of there, or at least back and board all of them. They only cost like ten cents. I will pay extra if you were to back and board comic books. I will. I always pick the extra option when these subscriptions at, like allow it because. Those things, even though they can package it completely safe and helpful and all that stuff, uh, it it just helps. One more. I had one book that was, uh, the box was completely destroyed, but the bag and board saved it enough to be viable still. It wasn't bent, it wasn't anything. But anyways, guys, that has been a video be expecting more and more videos i cannot say that they will be live streams because i'm going to uh be pre-recording some videos i'm also going to be throwing some new videos out there um that are a little bit more edited and a little more uh, i want to say scripted but scripting i think is the wrong word but i'm going to be talking about more like important topics and stuff i see around the internet maybe talk about some things theorize on some things um i'm doing theories is something i kind of want to do um if this stuff sounds interested just stick with me i'm gonna get my first one here done hopefully in the next week or so uh if i enjoy doing it i'm gonna keep doing it and if i don't enjoy doing it then i don't know what i'm gonna do with my youtube channel i'm probably uh, not gonna invest my time into uh doing youtube because clearly it is um either just not my passion or i'm just not passionate at the moment about it um like when i came back from live streaming i was really passionate about it and i was wanting to upgrade everything and then a lot of stuff happened <laughs> so i kind of put it all on the back burner and uh the only people that pay the price really are uh, the people that do actually watch my videos um, and do actually enjoy hearing me ramble on about channel updates and stuff. So thank you guys again for joining me on this trip. And I'm glad you clicked on the video. Make sure you hit the little like button. Um, and also, if you guys see, uh, I've noticed it on um, a few other channels including mine every time I upload a video I get these weird people that um, leave a URL and then um, they tag a, a section in the screen go ahead and report those uh, um, report them as spam please I've been trying to make sure they are not on my channel um, I have been reporting it on other people's as well, because that's what it is. It's spam. They're trying to get you to click on that link. Please don't click on the link. Don't click on anything anyone puts in your videos. Um, I'll have to see about changing my 
settings to not allow URLs. Um, to not allow people to post URLs. Um, but other than that, I can't really do anything about it. So just please uh, be safe out there. Uh, people are always trying to steal your stuff. So be careful. <laughs> but I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya. Bye.